leaders, what's good, man? I hope y'all can hear me with this win. But um, it's quite Scott Leader in middle school. Like motivate and elevate. And all aspects of life, because that's what I do. You go ahead. All about me, motivating and elevating. Thank y'all for tuning in to this video. Another video, another banger. Um, as y'all can see by this title, we're gonna be talking about what rappers and, and athletes, you know, our favorite athletes, our favorite rappers, what they're doing to get richer and richer and how we can do the same thing. I know many of us probably cannot dunk a basketball like LeBron James. We probably can't rap like Lil Baby or Drake. But it's a few things that these people um, that we, it's a few things these people are doing to get money outside of rap, outside of playing basketball or, or football that um, in most cases are getting them richer than rapping or the sport that they're playing is doing by itself. So we're going to tap into that. But before we get into those details, I would need you guys to um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're here for the first time, please hit the subscribe button for me. Um, I need everybody, as always, to like this video by hitting that thumbs up button. It helps out the channel. It helps me out with a uh, YouTube algorithm and things like that. So I would appreciate that. And you know, I got to plug myself with my, well, my me merchandise, my Motivate Elevate merchandise. I'm actually um, just actually on the way to the post office to drop this one off right here to my homie in Cali, to my homie David in Cali. <laughs> He gonna, he gonna catch that when he sees But nah, I wanted to come in and talk about this and I wanted to use rappers and athletes um, just because we relate so much to them or we inspire so much by them. And it's something I don't think they talk about a lot themselves, which I don't blame them or expect them to or, you know, it's not their responsibility to teach us financial literacy. They entertain us. They, you know, provide the music we listen to. We watch them on the TV, which is cool. He did a new school this year for that. But um, I just thought it was amazing just breaking it down and, and seeing how what they do outside of their professions generate them more money than their professions do. And you think about it, LeBron James, multi-billionaire, call him Billy Goat because he's the greatest of all time to ever touch the basketball and to step on the basketball court, but he's worth a billion dollars now. So you got to call him the Billy Goat. Although he's a billionaire, or worth a billion at least, he has a job. I mean, the NBA is a job. Um, rapping, being a rapper, that's a job. And I think of us, we got jobs, but there's other ways for us to make money, uh, make money outside of our job um, that could technically surpass the amount of money we make at our job. And so what I'm talking about, if you guys haven't ca caught on yet, is investments. Every person that I'm about to mention has made very successful investments that has either made them as much money as their professions or more. Now, a few of these guys investments have surpassed their career earnings uh, within their profession. So the first person we're going to start off with is Jay-Z. Everybody knows Jay. I think probably the younger people probably know Jay-Z more so from a business standpoint than they do from rap. I mean, if you was if you're an older person, you probably love his raps. Me, I've never been a big, huge Jay Z, Jay -Z fan as far as rap and his music, but I've always admired the knowledge that he has, the business savviness. Is that a word, savviness? <laughs> I mean, I always always admired his business acumen. That's a better word. Um, if you think about it, and I couldn't find his career earnings through rap. And if I do, actually, I did. I did. His music catalog is worth $75 million, I believe. And that's what that's what Forbes said. It might be a little outdated, but I mean, Jay-Z ain't just really dropped a whole bunch of music in the last decade. So his music catalog was worth $75 million, right? That was his profession. Check this out. Ace of Spades. You know, all the rappers rap about Ace of Spades, bottles of Ace of Spades, you know. That alone is valued at $310 million. And he owns 100% of Ace of Spades. Do say, you know, we turn up on Friday nights, Saturday nights, people be sipping on Do say. Do say is worth a hundred million. Title, the streaming service, is worth a hundred million. 
And then those are things that aren't including in rap. That's not including in his uh, profession, if you want to say, you know, his profession as a rapper, but he's made more money outside of rapping than he has. Uh, he's made more money outside of rapping than he has rapping. That's amazing to me. That's like saying my salary at work is a hundred thousand dollar salary, and I'm investing in different companies. I'm investing in real estate, and my real estate portfolio is worth uh, one hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars. My stocks is at two hundred thousand. That's that's essentially kind of the same thing if you want to compare things. And I know we don't have million dollar salaries at work working on nine to five. I know this, so don't think I'm comparing myself to Jay Z or nothing like that understand the point that i'm trying to make and what i'm trying to get you guys to see and open your eyes as to as to as far as that we can do the same thing all it is is investing let's go on to uh which is my favorite rapper when it comes to the business because ricky rose he gonna give you all the free game he gonna talk all about the entrepreneurs talk every interview he has every story he posts on his instagram i rush to it because he gives so much game and so much knowledge and, and perspective when it comes to investing and believing in yourself and building your brand up. Rick Ross, outside of music, and I didn't I didn't get his uh his career earnings from rap, but we all know him for Wingstop. He's always talking about the 10 piece lemon pepper. He got checkers, he got Luke Bel Air, he got Ethica, the underwear. Um a lot of people are starting to wear. He gets Rich by Rick Ross, which is the um, the grooming, uh, I think you got beard oil, beard palm, balm, and all that for your uh, for men's grooming. These are all things outside of rap. Like, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but these things don't take any skill, they don't take any talent, they just take knowledge, understand, and they take money. So, that's the thing you got to be willing to invest your money into things. But all of these things have brought them back money tenfold, I guarantee you. Think about Dr. Dre. I didn't even mean to put him on this, but I'm just thinking now. Dr. Dre, what, started off as a, like a DJ producer, did a little bit of rapping. What did he come out with? Beats. The best headphones I've ever experienced. Who just bought Beats a few years ago? Was it? How long? I don't even know what year. It wasn't too long ago. Apple just bought Beats. That made Dr. Dre a billionaire. Now, and I understand beats kind of go with music, so I, I can see, you know, that correlation. But he did it without rapping on the microphone. He did it without spinning, you know, or producing, making beats. It was an investment he made in itself, was able to sell it to a bigger company that made him a billionaire. So you follow the trend. A lot of these rappers... Uh, entertainers are making way more money than their professions make them. Now let's go over to the sports side. Let's go over to the sports side. We're gonna start off with Shaq, and I love Shaq because of his his business uh, acumen. Shaq made two hundred and eighty six million dollars in nineteen years, bro. This this is where it get good, bro. This is where it get good. Shaq made two hundred and eighty six million dollars in nineteen years playing in the NBA. Shaq has invested in. Who owns Marilyn Monroe? Who owns who? Marilyn Monroe. Playboy? Who owns Elvis Presley? Who owns Forever 21? Who owns JCPenney? Me. To JCPenney, Forever 21, Five Guys. He owns Elvis Presley. He owns Marilyn Monroe. Y'all always seen him on the Icy Hot commercials. Um, he was an early investor into the company Ring, which, you know, the doorbell with the camera and all that. Before it was hot and made popular, he was an early investor into that. Got a bag off of that. Um, Y'all know he got the Papa John's. He had a whole bunch of um, uh, Papa John's. What was it? Uh, Auntie Anne's with the pretzels and things like that. He got the car washes. I mean, Shaq, man... I could go on and on about Shaq, but his investments has made him more than what he's earned in his NBA career. Let's go over to my guy, LeBron James. Let's 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 not call him LeBron James anymore. Let's call him Billy Goat James. LeBron, 
invested in. So as of right now, as of right now, his NBA earnings is at like 300 million and he's still playing. And that's not no endorsements, no sponsorships, none of that included. That's just strictly NBA salary. But even him, he just invested, um, he just became like part owner or something into the Red Sox. And then uh, the soccer team, Liverpool or something like that, he just invested into those sports teams. Uh, we know he has the Blaze Pizza. He has the Lobos Tequila. I mean, it's uh, Yo Gotti as well. He just invested into a soccer team. Wake up, man. Like, we investing now, man. What black person y'all know even play soccer? <laughs> like, we don't even know black people that play soccer, let alone to invest in things. But I think people are getting smarter. People are getting wiser and seeing that, man, I can put my money into something that's going to make me more money. And then the last but not least, and I want to say him lastly because I really want y'all, I, I really want this one to hit home for y'all, man. Rest in peace to Kobe Bean, man. Kobe Bryant. So you guys know, played 19 years for the Lakers. 19 years for the Lakers. Made 323 million in 19 years. Now check this out, man. This, 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 this blew my mind. He made $323 million playing for the Lakers in 19 years. In 2014, he made a $6 million investment into the uh, the uh, sports drink, uh, body armor. My daughter drinks them every single day. I, anyway. In 2021, Coca-Cola bought them for, I believe, $2 billion? $2 billion? Kobe's six million dollar investment in 2014 turned into a 400 million dollar net profit. Do y'all understand the difference between gross profit and net profit? Net means after taxes, after all the deductions. That's what you're gonna take home. That's what goes in your bank account. He made a 400 dollar net profit off of a six million dollar investment in seven years. Now in 19 years, he only made. Three hundred and twenty-three million dollars in seven million in seven years, he made four hundred million. It didn't require shooting a basketball. It didn't require dunking a basketball. It didn't require playing defense, running ten miles a game. All it required was a little bit of knowledge, spend some money, six million dollars, which ain't much to him, and he got a four hundred dollar net profit off of a six million dollar investment. Is, do I need to keep going? Do I need to keep going? Invest people, young people, old people. I don't care how old you are. And listen, listen. If you want to keep your nine to five, keep your nine to five. These people, like I said, it's the NBA. Yeah, we don't look at it as a job because they're getting paying millions of dollars. They're doing what they love. But at the end of the day, they got a job. They got to perform. And they got to uphold their performance and perform at a high level. It's totally different from what we're doing at our jobs. But... If you want to keep your nine to five job, keep your nine to five job. Retire when you're 65 or whatever the retirement age is. But that's no excuse as to why you can't invest. While you're at your job, put your money into something that's going to be making you more money while you're at work. That's what I'm currently doing. I'm at work eight, nine hours a day, but I'm still making money outside of my office. So if you if you want to keep your nine to five, you want to work till you're 65 and retire at the retirement age. That's fine, do that, but there's still no reason to why you can't invest and create some uh, some generational wealth and some passive income for yourself and your children. Invest in your future. Invest, invest, invest. You don't have to start a business. You don't have to buy real estate. You can invest in something though. And so that's that's it, man. That's why I want to come. And that's why I said, you know, uh, the rappers and athletes are doing it. And then that's why I put up here and you can too. We can invest. It may not be millions of dollars, but if you got five thousand dollars that you can spare, you can put five thousand dollars in some places, in some cities, you can put five thousand dollars on the home for a down payment. Get that, put a tenant in there, rent it out, make a few hundred dollars a month. You get your return on your investment in less than a year. I know what y'all thinking, like, oh yeah, but but those guys got millions of dollars. You know, they had millions of dollars before they started investing. That's true. We ain't got millions yet. We ain't millionaires, but we, that's what we striving to become. But we're never going to get there working our job solely, solely just working a nine to five. We're never going to get there. 
like I said, you can keep it, but if you want to be financially free that I keep talking about, if you want to be rich, if you want to be wealthy, you're going to have to invest it at some point in your life. Start with a couple hundred. Start with a couple thousand. Whatever you find that works for you, rinse and repeat. That's it. It's simple. And I just wanted to come and, and just put that, like I say with every video, man, I just really want to spark the brains. I, I just want to spark your mind and get your mind open and your wheels turning and you know, have these conversations because I'm tired of talking about, you know, how many touchdowns we scored and 10 years ago. I'm tired of talking about all the girls that we could have had back in high school. Like, those conversations don't do nothing for me. I actually get annoyed. Now, this is the type of stuff I want to talk about. I want to talk about investing. I want to talk about retiring at 30 years old. Even before that, you know, I want to talk about controlling and being in control of my time and in my life. So if you're not talking about that, then I don't really care to talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why I come here, give my input, give my, you know, opinions and, and feedback to you guys in hopes to motivate and elevate them in our aspects. Not just financially. Um but yeah man, that's that's what we need to be on. Start investing. If you don't know nothing about investment, we got Google, we got internet, we got all these resources that we really don't have no excuse on to why we can't become financially free, become rich, become wealthy, whatever, you know. We want that to be so again man that's all i have for you guys today be encouraged be inspired i hope i motivated you i hope i elevated you with this video if i did please subscribe to the channel if you are new if you haven't subscribed yet i need everybody again to please hit that thumbs up button for me um to help me and my channel grow and then again i've been sitting at this post office this whole entire video <laughs> let me go ahead and drop this shirt off you guys are interested. interested one more time i do got my motivate and elevate all about me um shirts going so so um comment below if you want to purchase or hit me up on social media and let me know what color what size y'all need i do ship as y'all can see or if you're local i'll pull up on you if you're in the dallas area back in my hometown of paris texas let me know but also comment below let me know what you guys think about this video if y'all liked it um, what I can bring to the channel, but I want to, like I said, motivate and elevate you guys in all aspects and any way that I can. So I would appreciate y'all's feedback, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this shirt off. I will see you guys on the next video. Until then, keep elevating.